uh, hello everyone uh, in this video uh, what I'm going to tell is uh, in one of the speech uh, given by uh, Richard Ham on you and your research so actually uh, this speech is given in the uh, Bell communication uh, research colloquium seminar so in the same video is also uh, is in the YouTube so you can go and watch it so but the same uh, video it has recorded in a tape uh, same the speech which has given by uh, Richard Hamming will be given uh, wordings in this uh, linkage actually what uh, this is about is uh, what is uh, good uh, research what uh, in terms of his wordings so what uh, Richard Hamming says so this is what all about uh, his journey so in his uh, research labs so in communication with the great scientists or researchers so after meeting all these people he has put it in a nutshell so how to uh, proceed or in what way you can do your research so this is what all about uh, the content <coughs> so I'll just go through the briefly uh, today from uh, the introduction speech of Richard Hammond so in the first what uh, the <coughs> the uh, people who are going to introduce him so what they have uh, in what way they have introduced him at a seminar hall in the Bell Communications Research Colloquial Series, Dr. Richard Hamming, a professor at the Naval Postgraduate School in Monte, California, and a retired Bell Lab scientist. So he was a uh, retired scientist from the Bell Lab Bell Labs. <coughs> gave a very interesting and stimulating talk, you and your research, to an overflow audience of some. 200 Belcourt staff members and visitors at the Morris Research and Engineering Center on March 7, 1986. This talk centered on Hamming's observations and research on the question, why do few, few scientists make significant contributions and so many are forgotten in the long run? From his more than 40 years of experience, 30 of which were in the Bell Laboratories, he has made a number of direct observations, asked very pointed out questions of scientists about what, how and why they did things, studied the live lives of great scientists and great contributions and has done introspection and studied theories of creativity. The talk is about <coughs> what he has learned in terms of properties of individual scientists their abilities, traits, working habits, attitudes, and philosophy. <clears throat> in order to make the information in this talk more widely available, <clears throat> the tape recording that was made of the talk was carefully <clears throat> transcribed. This transcription includes the discussions which followed in the question and answer period. As with any talk, the transcript version suffers from translation as all the inflections of voice and the gestures of the speaker are lost. One must listen to the tape recording to recapture that the part of presentation, while the recording of Richard Hamming's talk was completely intelligible, that of some of the questioners, remarks were not. Where the tape recording was not very intelligible, intelligible, I have added in this parenthesis my impression of the questioner's remarks. Where there was a question and I could identify the questioner. I have checked with each of the each to ensure the accuracy of my interpretation of the remarks. <coughs> now uh, here is introduction of the Dr. Richard. Hamming. So, so, so here what, so where he studied and what uh, the work he has done and whom did he met. So, it's going to be a brief here. As a speaker in the Bell Communications Research Colloquium Series, Dr. Richard Hamming of the Naval Postgraduate School in Monterey, California was introduced by Lab. 
China with Vice President Applied Research, Bell Communications Research. Lan Chinovic. So now he is talking. So he is a speaker now. Greeting colleagues and also too many of our former colleagues from Bell Labs who I understand and here to be with us today on what I regard as particularly felicitous occasion. It gives me a very great pleasure indeed to introduce to you my old friend and colleague from many many years back, uh, Richard Hamming or Dick Hamming. So either he can call us Richard Hamming or Dick Hamming as he always been known to all of us. Now the a person land is giving introduction about the Richard Hamming. Dick is one of the all times greats in the mathematics and computer science arenas as I'm sure the audience here does not need reminding. He received his early education at the universities of Chicago and Nebraska and got his PhD at Illinois. He then joined the Los Alamos project during the war. Afterwards, in 1946, he joined Bell Labs and that is, of course, where I met Dick. When I joined Bell Labs in their physics research organization, in those days, we were in the habit of launching together as a physics group. And for some reason, this strange fellow from mathematics was always pleased to join us. We were happy to have the, him with us. He brought so many unorthodox ideas and views. Those launches were stimulating, I can assure you. While our professional paths have not been very close over the years, nevertheless, I have always recognized Dick in the halls of Bell Labs, have always had tremendous admiration for what he was doing. I think the record speaks for itself. It is too long to go through all the details, but let me point out, for example, that he has written seven books and of those <clears throat> seven books which tell of various areas of mathematics, computers and coding, information theory, three are already well into their second edition. This is testimony indeed to the prolific outlook and the stature of Dick Ham. I think I last met him, <clears throat> it must have been about 10 years ago at a rather curious little conference in Dublin, Ireland, where we were both speakers. As always, he was tremendously entertaining. Just one more example of the provocative thoughts that he comes up with. I remember him saying, there are violence that people cannot see. There are sounds that people cannot hear. And maybe <coughs> <coughs> computers thought that <coughs> people can think it. Well, the dick hamming around, we don't need a computer. I think that we are in for an extremely entertaining talk. <clears throat> so this is the introduction uh, given by Lan Chinovit about the uh, Richard Hamming. <clears throat> so after this, the Richard Hamming going to start his speech. So that will be put up in the next video. Thank you.